What is happening troops? Welcome back to another video on the Sharp Dev YouTube channel. In this video today, I thought it would be interesting for me to discuss Ryan Ken, the prodigal son, the maestro. He's just delicious, isn't he? Let's be honest. No matter what team that you support, I'm sure that you can concede that Ryan Kent is an absolute baller. Before we do continue in this video, if you wouldn't mind, going into the description, there is a just given page there, and it is for Sam H. It's to do with the YouTuber charity match that I took part in on Saturday just past. If you didn't need an incentive, here's one. <laughs> Call me Kevin Thompson. He actually, um, he actually liked one of my tweets regarding that tackle on Twitter. So, um, that's my life, mate. So, Ryan Kent, the Liverpool Lone Eater Angels last season. Let's take it right back to the start with this one. So, when Ryan first came, I was actually abroad working. And I seen the signing and it was a wee bit of a surprise. I didn't know who he was. And I think a lot of Rangers players were also like, who is this guy? Because we'd had big signings like Scott Arfield, like Alan McGregor. And then we were getting this Liverpool loan eight and we didn't really know what to expect. And to be honest, his start for Rangers was not the greatest. I'm a guy that always likes wingers. So when I watch one, I just take to him straight away. I like Barry Mackay. I like David Templeton. And I really like Ryan Kent as well. The thing with a winger is, a lot of the time they can go in and out of games and I think a lot of fans see this and they just think, oh he's crap. And to be honest, going back to the start of the season, Ryan never had the greatest of starts, I don't think. I don't think he set the world alight when he first started playing for Rangers. He looked tricky but a lot of people thought he's taking too many touches, he's not getting any end product. <laughs> How wrong could they have been? When Ryan Kent started to hit a bit of form, started getting some goals and assists and just tearing the league apart, Everybody started saying, right, can we get this boy on a permanent deal? And then a rumour came out that Rangers had already kind of agreed if they wanted him at the end of the season, they could sign him for £2 million. So with that being said, I think a lot of Rangers fans, including myself, was very, very happy with that, considering we signed Gresda for what? Two and a half million. So Ryan Kent for two million would have been an absolute steal. Going into the Christmas time, he was on fire. During that old firm, the 29th, he was incredible. So everybody was ranting, raving about Ryan Kent. But with these performances, I think Liverpool has saw that and other clubs have saw that and they've gave a wee bit of interest towards him. So from the start of 2019 all the way up to the end of the season, everybody was just um, making up prices, if you like. So it went from 2 million to 3, to 6, to 8, where it kind of stagnated and stayed for a while. And then some people started talking about 12 million. Current day football is inflated, transfers are ridiculous, but I don't think that a, a Scottish club should be spending 12 million. I wish that a Scottish club could spend 12 million, and they probably could, but I just think financially, it's not the best decision. Scottish football isn't exactly riddled with money, is it? It's not a rich league. Far from it, in fact. Which I like, in a sense. It's got a lot of passion. But we don't really have the money, I don't think, to be splashing 12 million in cash about. So with that being said, Ryan Kent's loan deal ended and he headed back down to Liverpool. And I think some people were still really confident in securing his services. But then some other clubs decided to, um, to chip in. Leeds United. The bottle jobs, basically. They decided that they were interested in Ryan Kent. They decided that they wanted him at their home ground. And at this current point in time, that could still happen. It could not happen. Rangers are now, though, in the absolute home straight for the boy. I mean, when Andy Hardy's putting on Instagram, announced Kent, you know something's already went down. So the rumour is that Rangers are going to get him back on a loan deal, which is absolutely class. Great. Hopefully, it's with a view of signing him at the end of the 12 months. And Ryan Kent himself, actually, if we go back to the actual player, he says that Rangers is a club where he's never felt kind of more at home. And his performances have definitely shown that. He's been exceptional. And if you've seen him for 90 minutes at any course through the season... I think you can agree with me on that one. So with the player actually saying that this is a move that he wants, and with him already going to the championship before, I mean, he did go to the championship, I think it was with Barnsley, and he had a loan deal with him, he had a loan deal in the Bundesliga. These were loan deals that never really 
never really took to the boy, and then when he came up to Rangers, he was just on fire. The fans took to him. I mean, how hard can it be to get going when you have the talent, when you get got 50-odd thousand behind you, cheering every single thing that you do. Sometimes you're not pulling something off, and they're right behind you. And now that Rangers are in the firing line for him, the home straight, the final forlorn, is that a thing? I don't think so. That was pathetic. I think that he'll make the switch. I think that we are the club that he would rather go to. I think that we're a bigger club than Leeds. I think that um, if an old firm team comes in for you, I would pick that over a championship team all day, every single day, especially if it's a loan deal. I could understand Liverpool accepting a high bid for Ryan Kent and um, Leeds getting him, but if it's a loan deal, then um, nah, I would definitely pick Rangers. I would pick Rangers loan deal over a, a permanent move to Leeds anyway, myself. But as always in these videos, I would like to hear what you have to say, so get involved in the comment section below, I'll be replying to all comments, and yeah, let's just have a discussion in comments. Is Ryan Kent a good fit for Rangers? I think we've already um, kind of gathered that he is. Will he actually make the switch? And um, are you confident that he'll have another good season and maybe put his numbers up even more, his, his stats up even more? Because that was a criticism of him, but if you've seen him during the 90, you would realise that he gives you a whole lot more than just goals and assists. But I think even he will say that he needs to improve on that, and I think that he will. I think that he will improve on that next season if he comes back to Rangers, or when he comes back to Rangers. But let's say he doesn't make the switch, right? I mean, look at our attacking options going forward. We've brought in a Liverpool low knee. Um, which is, he looks like an exceptional talent as well. If he's anywhere near as good as Ryan Kent, he'll be frightening. We've brought in Jordan Jones, who's just firing in all cylinders for Northern Ireland right now. Exceptional player, great pace, great skill, end product, brilliant player for me. Um, we've also got Murphy coming back. We've got young Glenn, who potentially is going out on loan. And yeah, we've still got Daniel Candace. We've got all these players, we've got a lot. We've got Hasty coming in as well. We've got a lot of options, which is great. But Ryan Kent, you're number one. Number one on my wish list. Number one on everybody else's wish list. So hopefully you make the right choice. Some of you might actually be out there thinking that Ryan Kent's already made the switch. And that's probably because this new trend that's going on on Twitter right now, which is these stupid accounts that will give themselves the name of like Sky Sports News. They'll get a picture of, let's say Ryan Kent, they've used Ryan Kent before, and they'll say it's confirmed. They done Daniel Sturridge the other day. I mean, it's just, it's just shit patter, it is, that's all it is. So if you're one of those people that have made those accounts, just deactivate it, just do it right now. Have you done it yet? Also, hit the like button if you're, if you're just kicking about. That's going to do us for this video today, the story of Ryan Kent, the truth of Ryan Kent. Would be a nice wee clickbait title. I don't know. I'll have a think about it. But if you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel. Almost at 12,000 subscribers. I'm going to be consistent now. I'm going to be here regularly every single other day or every single day for your entertainment. That's for your entertainment. I could not entertain a fucking barn door fan. For, um, for nothing. Basically just here for myself. Um, but if you have enjoyed it, please like for my own ego and um, subscribe to the channel. And also, massive shout out to the Scottish women's team who were just exceptional versus England the other day and should I go a draw at least. So good luck to them going forward. I'll see you in the next one. I've been Sharp Div. Please donate below as well if you can. And I'm out. All my weakness keep on lingering.